So, uh, I was asked a question about a week or so ago uh, to go into phlebotomy or become a CNA. Of course, I'm going to say go be a CNA because I was a CNA and that's pretty much why I would say that. But taking a deeper look into it, as I have done since, it's not really that easy of a toss up question. So today I'm going to look at CNAs versus a phlebotomist. Um, a CNA is, of course, the certified, medic, the certified nursing assistant who helps the nurse with baths, vitals, um, skin checks, uh, mobility of the patient, um, certain things like that that don't involve medication or procedures. Uh, a phlebotomist draws blood, takes blood, um, gets other samples, uh, make sure that the lab gets the samples, transports back and forth, um, things like that. So, both in North Carolina, you go to school for both of them. They're both a certification. Uh, in other states, there may be uh, not, you know, there may not be certifications with a CNA or a phlebotomist, but in North Carolina, there it is. Um, so here, at least, you do go to school for both of them. Um, and classes range from anywhere from a few days to a few weeks for both programs, depending on where you take it at. I always encourage take your classes at a community college or a school that's going to transfer credits. Um, I always encourage that. So take them at a community college. That's, you know, that your stuff will transfer. CNAs are everywhere. Their jobs are everywhere. Nursing homes, hospitals, um, let's see, what else? Uh, there's some clinics that have them. Um, doctor's offices may have a CNA. Um, they're everywhere. Phlebotomists are not as common as CNAs. Um, when I, you know, uh, on the on the floor at the nursing hospital, one phlebotomist may have um, the entire floor, which was like three units, whereas you had probably three CNAs per unit. So you're looking at nine CNAs to one phlebotomist. Um, so it's a little bit kind of jobs are kind of weighed to being a CNA. Um, phlebotomists do get paid more. Um, you, you do make a little bit more money. It's not a whole lot more money. Um, it might be the difference between $8 an hour and $9.50 an hour. Um, and that, that ratio may be off. I didn't, I don't have exact figures for you. Um, as to what a phlebotomist actually makes and what a CNA actually makes, but I know it's a little bit more for the phlebotomist. Um, companies like, uh, since we're on the subject of jobs, companies like LabCorp, um, laboratory companies, hospitals, um, a lot of doctor's offices do have like one phlebotomist. Um, so there, there is jobs in phlebotomy, just not as many as um, certified nursing assistants. So the jobs do exist. Um, they are out there. They're probably going to be a little bit harder to find, but you're going to get paid a little bit better. Um, as I've said before, a CNAs help nurses with tasks that do not involve medication or procedures. Um, so a CNA is going to help with a bath. It's going to help get a patient up, get a patient dressed, brush teeth, brush hair, you know, things like that. That's what a CNA is going to do. Phlebotomy is a skill. It is an acquired skill. If you don't believe me, then you've probably never drawn blood. Um, I came into nursing school as a CNA. And then when we got to the phlebotomy part of nursing school, you could definitely tell who was a phlebotomist and who wasn't. Um, now in other aspects, you could tell who was a CNA and who wasn't. But they're both skills but phlebotomy is more of an acquired skill. Um, it's one of those things you have to have done plenty of times to be good at. Um, not everybody's veins are the same, and you can't hit everybody's veins. Um, if you become a phlebotomist, when it's IV time in nursing school, you're going to knock it out. You're going to be great. All right? 
because the phlebotomists were much better than the CNAs at that part in nursing school. They just were. You know, they were just used to hitting veins. Sometimes they're used to hitting hard to hit veins. Um, you know, they are they are pretty good at that. Um, another thing that I will say is that the phlebotomists that were phlebotomists and for whatever reason did not go on to um, further themselves, you know, maybe they found that phlebotomy was right for them. I will say that there were more people that were phlebotomists as careers, as lifelong careers, um, than I've met that were CNAs as lifelong careers. Um, so, you know, maybe there's something there. Maybe people like phlebotomy more. I'm, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not saying that they like phlebotomy more, but uh, it seems that there are more lifelong career phlebotomists than there are lifelong career uh, CNAs. So, you know, there's that. Um, and if you get in good with a good company, you know, you're going to get the benefits and everything um, as any other full-time employee. So they both have their ups and downs. Um, you know, to weigh one out more than the other, I can't really say. Um, if you're looking at it in a nursing school aspect, uh, I'm still going to go with become a CNA. You learn more nursing skills as a CNA. But, but, if you become a phlebotomist and then want to go into nursing school, there is nothing wrong with that. Phlebotomists make good nurses as well. Um, and like I said, when it comes to that uh, IV part in nursing school, you're going to knock it out. You're going to be just fine. Um, so, nothing wrong with phlebotomy at all. I just was not one. Um, you know, I just, I just didn't become one. I became a CNA instead. Um, but... You know, both have ups and downs. So I hope it helps. Thank you much.